Hello everyone, it's Patty. Happy Monday and today I'll be sharing with you my latest planner setup which is of this gorgeous B6 wide TN from the Planner Society using the July kit from the Planner Society and uh, this planner is actually available on the Planner Society website and it comes in different colors uh, with different um, uh, you know bow colors. This one is the rose gold and I've had this in my stash and I thought it was a perfect opportunity to set it up because the July kit has also rose gold accents now because it's a clear cover I really wanted to design a cover that it would be pretty enough to show and I apologize for the reflection it will go away in a second as soon as I open it up but so when I planned my first dashboard I really had that in mind I wanted something that I'd be happy to look at you know whenever even with the cover that is closed and here it is so the inside you'll see has silver uh, but the front is rose gold so here is my first dashboard which is the vellum that came with the kit and uh, it's my favorite pattern it has and I can as you can tell I had to match my shirt to it so I love this little black and white you know there's the black dots on the white background with these beautiful flowers and I wanted to create kind of play uh, with the flowers so I've had it these flowers that I've had uh, for a long time they're from Prima um, and I have changed out the little, um, uh, what is it called? I can't remember now the word, but I, I did used to have like silver little Swarovski in the middle. I changed it out to uh, rose gold ones that I have from Michaels. I've also painted uh, these little uh, stems here in black. They used to be yellow and I've added one of their little butterflies always from Prima there. The bow instead is the bow that came with the, the kit and it used to uh, wrap the little Little sticky notes and so I have just uh, kind of staged it you know I use little sticky dots to make it um, sit in the position that I wanted to and I'm really happy actually with this uh, um, you know how this uh, um, set this first dashboard looks like and just to let you know um this will be mostly for notes this is what i'm using it for uh both of my kids went to college this month and i found myself going crazy basically just uh, having to keep up with whatever they forgot to buy and whatever i need to send them and so this is just something that i'm just gonna write on so there's just three plain inserts in it i just want something that is with me that is pretty enough that it makes me happy to open and look at it but it's not for planning it's just for checking off things that I need to buy and that uh, to have them delivered and if they deliver if they didn't deliver that sort of thing so here is the first uh, uh, insert and again what I did basically I took the beautiful paper which is my uh, second favorite paper from the kid which is this dots or horizontal dots and I have wrapped it around uh, this uh, plain insert that I've had. This is actually, and I did a little boo-boo there. I had to rip it back up, but I wrapped it on top of uh, this uh, uh, traveler notebook from Michaels actually. And because I wanted to have a different type of uh, little edger this time, instead of using the glitter edgers uh, that Christy has, I have used um, the beautiful paper that comes in the kit with the little lace accent. Uh, so I cut it down to size and then I've glued it here we go in between the uh, paper from the kit and the cover from the uh, traveling notebook from Michaels and so it just peeks through now mind you this is probably not the most um, you know like this is not a solution that's gonna last forever um, by pulling you know this is just little lace so it's paper if you want this to last forever I would suggest that you laminate the whole thing after you are um, you know finished setting it up I use only I'm gonna use this only for a short period of time so it doesn't really bother me if it gets damaged but I love the look so it's it's a different way of doing the edger so I just you know I, and I wanted something to match the pink and then here in the middle I have the gorgeous uh, uh, journaling card that came in the kit and I layered it on um, metallic rose gold paper from Michaels and then under it there's another lo uh, little layer of this glitter white paper from Michaels as well and then here a little um, as always always use my little eyelets and then I use a little uh, bows from Hobby Lobby and uh, this is a little die cut that came in the kit and I've added a couple of flowers and if you can tell them there's little cute little flowers there's just to add a little 3d effect there and I just love 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 I love the pink the floral with the black and white is just my favorite combination then here is the back 
of the uh, insert and I've used one of the sticky pockets, the clear sticky pockets that came in the kit. I've inserted there um, the stickers from the kit. This is an old paper clip I had and then there's another Hobby Lobby bow and this is another one of the die cuts from the kit that I put on 3D dots. And then here is uh, the uh, back of the beautiful vellum where I added one of the sticker, the 3D puffy stickers that came in the kit that says Planner Girl. And then I had to make, because I always love making them, a washi dashboard. And I've used all, almost all actually kind of kept to the same color scheme. So I've used uh, the uh, one, let's see, one, two, three of the washi tapes from the kit. Then this is the rose gold, uh, uh, washi clear bow washi that you can actually buy on Chris's website I think it was under the two dollar Tuesday it comes in a set of different sizes and I just love it and then this is just a random rose gold washi that I've had at home and also this little teeny tiny one and this one I've had at home for a long time then this is a little bow sticker from simply gilded and then here's a paper clip from the kit that says hello then inside here I wanted to kind of you know, bring back in some of the black. And so this is an acetate that did come in a previous kit. And I wanted to put here this adorable little plants, a little, um, little pots and I put them on 3D dots there. So it kind of looks like they belong with a little scene that it's in the next page. And uh, this is uh, the uh, paper version of the vellum that I showed you earlier. So I did the same thing. I basically used that, uh, you can tell, uh, the lace paper and I layered it between the cover from uh, this blank insert and uh, my paper. And then I layered it the same way with the eyelets, uh, the metallic paper, the glitter paper. And then I used the two of the die cuts uh, of these palm leaves. And then I put the little, uh, um, 3D puffy rose gold leaves over here and then on top of that I've had a couple of flowers and then the usual bow from Hobby Lobby and then in the back I have the same setup so this is very simple but it just makes me happy to look at it I just love the way that these uh, homes and this little um, you know little decor little uh, journaling papers look on top of the paper and this I just have a little um, washi uh, sampler uh, with the little paper clip from the kit this is an older washi uh, card from Christy then I have little older uh, paper paper stickers a little sticker sorry about that guys and then uh old, older stickers from my rose gold again and this is a paper clip from a lamp Yoni's papery the same one as that and then i put the uh, puffy sticker shine here now this is the back of the black and white no the black acetate with the, the other two little die cuts i love this one please don't die which is my mantra whenever i speak to my plants and then this is the back of the uh, washi dashboard i actually thought about using this as a plant <laughs> diary i only have one plant so i'm gonna do it later but because all the other ones uh, kind of give up on me and then this is the same the back of the washi dashboard a different little bowl uh, stickers from the plant society and then this is another acetate from an older kit it's rose gold so i love also the metal uh, the the geometric design on top of the black and white and i put this uh, um little um glitter deck decal from uh the um i think virgo in paper with my name and then this is my last insert again another plain insert same concept different um, lace paper uh, and this one here I have used instead this adorable little plastic um, as you can see it kind of clear uh, BU uh, word that came in a previous kit and I, I just loved how it picked up the little kind of green there so instead of using the rose gold I wanted to use this one here and then for the back I have created just a little bit like at first I didn't have anything I just had the little sticky notes here with the TPS girl paper clip and that was gonna be it but it was kind of bland I don't know so I just added uh, you know just layering I, I love layering gives a little bit of it's it's fun and it's you know it's a way to use also your supplies honestly 
and uh, so I have the die cut with some of the flowers from Prima and then the plan word from Chrissy Kit and then here in the back I have this beautiful um, uh, what is called vinyl from Fox and Pip and it says Planner Addict and it has their beautiful bow in the back now here for the back um, I found this uh, pouch that I have forever from Erin Condren. It's rose gold. I have never had a chance to use it. And it has a, a little strap here. So the strap actually goes perfectly over it. So I thought this would be perfect to keep all my receipts for anything that they make me buy and that they have to return. Because it's, I don't know if you have kids, but they always change their minds. And so um, I thought this would be uh, you know, a perfect match. And I love how the rose gold matches the rose gold. So this is it guys and uh, this was very uh, you know very quick setup and uh, if you have any questions please feel free to send me a DM at Planning Fancy on my Instagram account and I reply to all uh, DMs and I hope you liked it and I hope you have a wonderful week.